Today I'm going to review and show you how to install this transfer switch. It's uh, good for backup. You might want to hook it up if you don't have um, one hooked up to your house yet. Uh, so what I have done is, um, you know, uh, I went through a storm and I lost about uh, uh, electricity for about four hours. So um, I wasn't going to do that again. So what I'm doing is uh, my panel doesn't have this hooked up to it. So I went out and I bought it. Um, so uh, this is what the instruction uh, book looks like. Just want to give you a quick preview before I remove everything outside the box. And it does come with the um, jumper that connects uh, to the box, the outlet uh, of the transfer switch, this box right here to the uh, radiator. So I'm going to, uh, I got this video on a fast speed because I don't want to waste your time. Just want to give you an idea what it looks like. Unless you are an electrician, uh, it might not be a good idea to try to attempt this um, or, or if you have some knowledge of electrical, how electrical wear and circuitry work, um, you know, you might want to try it. But, um, you know, I just want to caution you, uh, you know, because you are dealing with electricity. It's like playing with fire and stuff like that. You know, you could actually burn down your house if things are not done properly. All right. So I've done these jobs for many years, uh, for at least 20, 25 years. So I know exactly what I'm doing. I uh, just wanted to uh, show you what it looked like. This video is intended for uh, preview purposes. Uh, I'm not going in detail purposely because it has to do with live electricity. I just wanted to show you what it looks like because I haven't found good um, videos about transfer switch and what's involved in, in the box that I bought. So uh, this connector you could easily buy in Home Depot. Um, it comes with the uh, transfer switch. So does these wires. They all come like that with that flexible um, BX shield. Um, so just, you know, going through it. And uh, I purposely, as I said, fast forward the video um, to, uh, you know, sh to show you what it looks like. And um, I don't want to hold you up on one item for too long. So uh, as you have seen, uh, you know, I already cut out the wall. Um, the, uh, it was a easy cut sheet truck wall because I'm going to put it very close to the, um, meter. So, uh, when the power goes out, I have both panel, uh, the generator panel, um, which is a transfer switch as well as the, uh, main panel together. So it comes with multiple wires. You see, it's only three colors. You have your blacks, you have your, uh, white, the common wire, and you have the red. So what happens is, um, you know, once I get this, uh, transfer switch in place, this particular transfer switch has um, six circuit breakers. The ones on top, the switches you see, is actually the, doing the transfer. You could put it in a generator mode or the uh, you know main panel mode. So um, I'm making a uh, well. I'm drilling a hole uh, that leads to the outside of the property uh, of this wall. So as you can see, I see the daylight. So um, I'm going to have the wire from the outside, which I had bought already in right now. I'm just going to connect it. It's very simple. It's um, red, white, which is the common, and the black wire. And then you have the um, exposed copper wire, which is the uh, grounding. So as you can see, I'm giving you a close view of uh, what the wires look like. So um, I'm just going to uh, connect the uh, ground together. I'm using the same um, screw that the uh, housing has uh, for grounding for the um, wire that is going outside to the um, outlet for the generator. I'm using the grounding. It's very important that you ground everything. All right. Uh, so now I'm just, you know, following the color, the red wire that came in from the outside that's going to the outlet is connecting to the red wire here. Uh, you know, there's not too many uh, connections here. It's just the, um, you know, external outlet is getting connected to this transfer switch at this point. So black wire connects to the black and the white wire connects to the white. So it's pretty much self-explanatory if you are attempting this on your own. Um, if you want, uh, what some people like to do is they like to uh, wrap around electrical tape around the wire nut. Uh, but you don't that's not necessary. But if you want to do that should in case the wire not comes loose or something, you know, you have a secondary protection, which is always a good idea. But in this case, you know, I'm not putting it in sometimes I do depending on the job. So now once I got the outside outlet connected to the transfer switch, I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, place the cover in place. And once that is done, um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go and show you what the circuit breaker situation is. Um, 
you see the white uh, covering? Uh, I could even put the generator box right there, but uh, you know, uh, that's an option I'm not taking. I'm just gonna, I, I'm using the um, external wire to connect it outside the house because the generator is gonna be located outside. And it's very important that you have the generator uh, four feet away from your house at least. So what I'm doing right now is I'm disconnecting the um, black wire in the house on the main line and connecting the black wire that's coming from the transfer switch to the um, you know uh, to the black wire on the panel, which was originally connected to the circuit breaker. So basically, took it out right now. Uh, uh, I'm showing you right now. Is the red wire? That is actually from the transfer switch. It's going in place of the black wire that used to be there. To sum it up, the circuit breaker usually have a uh, black wire or red connected to it. You disconnect that. You connect the black wire coming from the transfer switch into the circuit uh, into the uh, existing um, you know wire on your house side. Then you take the red wire and put that, uh, which is coming from transfer switch, put it in place of it into the circuit breaker. Uh, I know it sounds complicated if you're looking at it for the first time, but uh, I wish I had a diagram that I could have shown you uh, exactly what it uh, entails. But in this case, I haven't made one yet. Um, but it's pretty much, the instructions are pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, the instruction that the transfer switch comes with, you know, so... Um, Basically, you have a red wire coming in from the transfer switch. You got black wire coming in, right? And you have one white wire. So one white wire connects to your common uh, bar. And the black wire connects with the wire that you already have in the circuit breaker. And the red wire you connected in place uh, where the circuit breaker used to be. So this is the outlet, you know, that's going to be outside the house. I'm, I bought it inside because, uh, you know, I didn't finish my uh, installation. I just wanted to make this video and, and show you uh, should in case you are in a storm or something and looking for information to uh, how to set this up. Um, so um, this is how you do it. And just for the, um, the purpose of this video, you know, I'm setting it up inside to show you how the connection is made. Um, so it's, it, those are the simple wires you have. You have red, black, white, and the grounding. The copper strip is the grounding. So I'm just going to connect it. Uh, these outlets are, are very helpful, you know, um, and easy to connect. So you just got to loosen up the screw and connect it. So right now I'm just stripping the uh, wires so that I don't have to once I'm uh, once I uh, place the, uh, the wire inside the uh, outlet. So, uh, you know, it's uh, always a good idea to get a stripper. You know, you strip the wire properly. You don't want to cut into the copper, you know, so using right tool for the right job is always recommended i mean um uh so i'm just gonna go ahead right now i'm ready to go i don't know if you could notice in the corner of the video uh, i got this wire uh, back inside the house through the window once i'm done with the video i'm just gonna go ahead and um, screw the uh, outlet on the wall where my generator is located so um it takes i mean it's it's effort it's not nothing is effortless this job isn't not effortless as well but it's not a dirty job uh it's doable you know but um it's um i recommend if you have some electrical experience you know why not be careful make sure the main line uh, power is off uh, be careful be careful be careful it is electricity you know if you're not sure get an electrician before you attempt this job. This is, uh, like I said, the video was to give you an idea of uh, you know, how to set this up. So the screwdriver I'm using, it's a, it's either a Phillips head or, or the um, flat head, um, you know, whatever the uh, screw is come with. Uh, most screws, uh, you could use the flat head as well as the flip, uh, Phillips head. I'm using the Phillips right now. So I'm just connecting the ground uh, wire Remember, we had the ground wire connected to the transfer switch uh, back then, so I'm just connecting to that right now. And, and I'm just gonna go ahead and connect the, um, the wires onto the uh, outlet directly. So in this case, this outlet uh, box came with the transfer switch, which was very useful, because should I had a, um, you know, uh, power outage, uh, guess what? Everybody else would have power outage. By the time I buy this, um, you know, I may have transfer switch available i may have the outlet not available you know you know how it goes when you go to the store all of a sudden 
everybody else is experiencing power outage and you don't have what you need. So I'm really happy that um, the manufacturer included the uh, jumper cable there. They included the um, outlet and the transfer switch with the box. And I guess that's why they call it the uh, transfer switch kit. But the one inch wire that you see that goes outside does not come with it. I'm using gauge 10. Uh, you know, you could use gauge 8. Uh, I thought the gauge 8 what would be too big for the demand um, that the uh, I have on my house. But gauge 10, it's uh, reasonable for me. Um, you could use gauge 8. Some people use gauge 6. Before I forget, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for future notification. So um, this is the end of the video. Um, I'm just doing a last check and you open the cover and hook up the generator right there. Thank you for watching.